Hey YouTube world, what's going on? Mark here from TST Industries, back in the garage with another installation video. And as you can see in front of me, I have a full suite of products. And then behind me, I have a beautiful third generation 2021 Yamaha MT-07. In this installation video, I will be going over the installation process of the Womatech front fork sliders. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. So to begin this installation process of the Womatech front fork slider kit, it's pretty simple. You only need two six millimeter hex keys or Allen keys. With that said, let's go ahead and break down the kit and see what is included. As you can see, before I lift the pieces up, two screws, two pucks, an aluminum rod that is powder coated black. And then underneath the pucks, we actually have two spacers and they are side specific. So as you can see, they are different. The one with the full cutout in the center is meant to sit on this side over the axle rod head. And the other side is meant to sit on the left side, the clutch side of the bike. Going a little bit further, they also included some stickers. In case you haven't purchased these fork sliders before or didn't read the product page, they do include some accent stickers. These are purely just reflective accent stickers that are meant to be installed on these pucks. Then as I mentioned, we have the aluminum rod and the screws. So we're gonna chuck this to the side and begin to look at this kit. Both sides are threaded on this rod. There are two bolts. You're going to take the shorter bolt and take either of the pucks. The pucks are exactly the same. You can take either of the pucks and then the spacer that is meant to sit on the brake side of the bike. You will superimpose it and then feed the bolts all the way through. And again, this is the shorter bolt. Feed it all the way through, bottom it out by hand. Once we do this, we are going to insert this into the hollow axle of this front wheel. Now at this point, we can go to the other side. We're gonna bring our hardware with us. And we're going to do the same thing with the small, with the side that has the small chamfer in it, we're going to feed the bolt through both components and then insert it into the hollow axle. Now, before you tighten this side down, you'll notice if I push down, it's gonna push that side out. So you wanna grab both sides at the same time, begin threading this by hand. This will help ensure that there are no burr, there's no burr inside the, th the threads and you're not cross threading. Now you can take your two six millimeter Allen keys or hex keys and begin to bottom both sides out again we do have torque specs. The goal of this step is just to bottom it out. Now you can go ahead and grab your torque wrench and we need to torque both sides down to 12 Newton meters. So let's go ahead and do that. With our torque wrench in hand, in case you haven't used one, it should be set to zero. We're going to turn this to 12 Newton meters. Right about there, perfect. We'll take our hex key tool on the side we're not torquing down. Insert the side we are torquing down. Perfect. That side is torqued. We can copy that step over for the opposite side. Perfect, and voila, this installation is now complete. But if you'd like to at this point, depending on the color of your bike, you may wanna go with red, you may wanna go with silver. The choice is yours. We're going to use silver on this. And we are going to try and line it up as best as possible with the inner circle, the inner face on that puck. And then we'll just use small tool Perfect. And that just brings 
help bring a small bit of accent color to this otherwise pretty boring crack detection piece. But nonetheless, the functionality is there and the form is getting there. So this installation is complete. As you can see, it does provide ample protection to the front wheel components on the front of this 2021 Yamaha MT-07 and for all the previous generation MT-07s. It will help prevent and distribute forces and hopefully prevent any sort of damage to the front fork legs, the caliper, some of the rotor, depending on the crash. Obviously every crash is different. The only way to prevent a crash is by not riding. Well, we're not gonna do that. So we're good to go. We're actually ready to take this thing out. If you wanna see this product or any other product we may have for this bike or any other bike you may own, be sure to stop by tstindustries.com. Link is in the description as always. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them in the comment field below. We'd love to hear from you. Be sure to check out our social media outlets, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. If you haven't already hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell on. This has been Mark from TST Industries. Catch you guys next time.